Hey guys, my name's Steven. I'm a Nico Pro Staff member. Um, I joined them because I just love their baits. I had a couple friends uh, previous in the military that uh, told me about them and I'm a real avid fisherman and one thing I love about these baits and I'll get into probably my top three is one, super durable. I mean, if you haven't seen them yet, good luck breaking them. Uh, people have essentially like challenges to make these baits last longer on their, their fish. Uh, there's people with like 50 catches, 70 catches per bait. Um, so, I mean, it's hard to beat uh, for durability, essentially. But also, they float. Every Nico bait floats. Every last one of them floats, 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 floats. Um, as well as another real good one, uh, kind of to my heart, too, is caring about the fisheries, you know, and support uh, the anywhere that I fish at. Um, and I don't want to kill the fish. Um, I, if you eat them, that's fine with me too. But the main thing is I like just catching them. Uh, but these baits are biodegradable, meaning if a fish eats them, it goes right out the other end. Uh, the other baits, if I saw expands, blows them up, and then that fish might not get big. Well, obviously, it wouldn't get big any further down the road. But uh, so what I'm this video is about is I've heard a lot of people asking for different rigging ways, and I have friends that are really uh, wanting to know how to use these things. And they're very versatile. I mean, you can ring them any which way, and I guarantee you're going to catch fish with them. But I'll show you my main ways of my main three Nico baits I use, and see how you like them. All right, everyone. So the main bait I think that Nico is very popular for is the Helgramite. Um, just one hell of a finesse bait. Um, when Ned Rig really started coming out, I really feel like this thing really started to shine um, more and more in the industry, but you can rig it so many different ways. Um, and bass love them. Uh, small, large, big, they've been caught in all. All sizes have eaten these little suckers. Um, they have different colors. Uh, obviously, Junebug uh, is my probably my favorite. They have a natural color, um, green pumpkin, and watermelon red flake, but a little closer look for you. That's the Helgramite. I'll turn it upside down there. So very versatile. And again, the main thing this thing does is what you want it to do is you essentially just want to let it float. It stands up, stands up, stands up. Or you can swim it. I've seen people, uh, creek fishing uh, YouTuber I watch a lot. He throws them out on a, on a nice little jig uh, through uh, rivers or creeks or stuff like that and goes to the current and makes it stay up and just pops it and man, it just slays them um, but here are a few different ways I rig them so I really like this I don't know if anyone else does it but it really helps me especially in rocky areas um, if I'm running like a crankbait or something like that a square bill and I don't get any reaction hits or anything like that uh, I'll run this through the rocks uh, it's a football head um, actually connected to um, two watt a EWG hook, but essentially what that does is when it fishes through the rocks, it doesn't get stuck too well. Um, we obviously finesse it a little bit better, but it stands up and it pokes right out them rocks and bass just and suck it right up. Um, that's probably my favorite for rocky areas. Then just the traditional Ned rig. I mean, you that's just self explanatory. This thing just stands right up on its head and just bouncing on the bottom. Um, or off rocks too. I mean, you use that well. I'm just more like, I like the football head because I feel like it doesn't get stuck as much as what a regular Ned head would. Um, then traditional, another Texas rig. I believe this is a quarter ounce tungsten. Um, but I keep the EWG and I kind of, some people don't know, and I don't think you really have to, but I do it just in, just cause. But I do, I don't know if you can see it kind of tuck it in there on, on the back. Just the tip. Just the tip. Um, and just pull that through, especially, uh, uh, brush, uh, areas or throwing under, uh, uh, under trees or anything like that. My go-to, I catch a lot of my fish on this with this setup as well as the drop shot nose hook. Uh, a lot of people I know fish this, um, it, it just, I mean, just killer for them suspended bass, uh, and, and even out in the slow times in the winter, everything like that, just murders bass. 
but that's my main rigs I usually use um, for the Helgramite. The next one I'll go to is uh, the Bass Worms. So that's what I was showing you earlier. This is the <clears throat> club tail. And essentially, I mean, you can rig this multiple different ways. But again, it floats up too. And you just want to stand up and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. They're actually hollow. It's hard to show inside. They're actually hollow inside. So I'll get it later, but you can put in, you can put in some rattles in there if you want to. Uh, some scents. Um, but it's a great finesse bait. Uh, and they got the... The pintail I use a lot. Um, just I use that on a Tokyo rig. I learned that from one of the actually one of the Pro Staff members in in Nico. And what that does is again with this float, these float they float up, and then you got the Nico rig just sitting there. Or excuse me, the Tokyo rig sitting there, and they just float up. And so you have this great presentation off the bottom. Because you know bass don't always like just smashing the bottom uh, unless it's hard on. But to me, this is a good little soft wise. Um, Tokyo rig you do any way you want. I like just keeping it on one bullet, but I've seen other people do multiple things. But that's one of my favorite for, I guess you want to say, soft bottom areas. Again, I can do go back with my football head. Uh, again, another rocky areas to get in there and be able to get out, but be able to see that tail going like this back and forth. Um, that's probably my favorite. Then you got, obviously, the Texas rig. You can't beat that. I mean, self-explanatory again, weeded areas and stuff like that, uh, brush and all that. Uh, that's paddle tails again, or excuse me, club tails, and then I'll get to the paddle tail. This is the paddle tail. I rig it up here with the, the blades going through. Um, weighted, uh, again, to almost Texas rig so it doesn't get caught up in anything. Great, great way to fish these. Next, we'll go on to the tadpoles. All right, so the tadpole, excuse me. Um, very good little bait. You can't see, I got a drop shot hook on it. Um, just amazing drop shot bait. But I mean, so many other versatile ways. Guys are using crazy, but still very durable. I mean, I use it mainly for drop shot, but I also use it another way, um, which friend Angel Rodriguez on uh, Nico Pro Staff also showed uh, with these new micro jigs that kept came out. I wouldn't say too new, but just seemed like people are starting to use them more. Um, but this has been a killer. Uh, just like a Ned Rig set up if you want to, but you got that more pizzazz to it also. But this is the peanut butter and jelly color, but so many different ones, different other ones. Um, this has worked very well, uh, crashing beds and stuff like that. It's not, I guess you say too intimidating and it doesn't make a huge splash. Um, you rip up some nice sized bass too. A lot of big bass been caught on this too. Surprisingly, they're a, a small such profile. Um, another way I do it, I like giving a little more, like I said, pizzazz here, but I, it's a, another drop shot hook here, but with a little bit of hair and extra to it and gives a little bit more flare out uh, when moving through there. Uh, that's the way how I rig mine. Now another way, and I heard a couple of friends and I've always thought about it, but uh, Ned Rigs and a couple guys have been smashing with this is kind of off the back of the bass worms. This is actually the split tail. So the bass worms come in split tail, paddle tail, pin and club. But the movement of these things, look at that. Can't beat it. You also do it with the paddle tail. Oh, excuse me, the club tail. I get a mix up for some reason. I don't know why, but I do. Um, killer. Um, I can't wait to try these out. I've seen a lot of guys have photos that have caught fish like this. Uh, no problem. And then instead of getting rid of the front, why don't you make that into a Ned rig also? Um, what I'm doing with this one is I another thing I could probably crash beds or something like that maybe with it but being that they're hollow I can put these in the back good beads nice little thing something the vast might not have even seen before um you just I really think this is going to be a killer and it stays on pretty well and you're not going to lose those beads coming out the front um rattle excuse me uh but yeah, those are my main ways I like fishing these. These are my, I guess you want to say three favorite ones. Uh, but I mean, Nico has a bunch of other different ones. I'm really liking the Scholar Shad a lot. 
perfect little swim bait. Uh, if you get a chance, uh, uh, Creek Fishing Adventures, a uh, YouTuber also, he smashes fish with these in the creeks and rivers. Um, like I said, other than that, uh, there's many different ways I've seen people rig these. Um, another good way that I haven't had here because I don't have any uh, right now, I lost them. But um, being that they're hollow again, you can put a nail in here and then hook and just jig cross another bass killer man um you you're not gonna you're not gonna regret buying nico baits i'll tell you that right now um i don't get paid by them or anything by that uh, i'm not some huge youtuber or anything either but uh i i love their baits and i love supporting them and they're great cast people um they have a bunch of new stuff coming out soon um with the way the world's been going uh i probably got delayed a little bit but they're they're coming out um uh that's gonna help change the industry as well as uh you want to say durability for bass fishing and all types of fishing but stay tuned um hope i helped out for y'all uh, stay safe later